Who is this? Uh, who is this? Do you, you sure you have the right number? Who are you looking for, first of all? Who is this? I'll tell you. Uh, don't think you have the right number. Yes, I do. You sure about that? Is that your fake accent? No, fake accent. Really? Last time I checked, Mexicans don't sound like I that. I want your partner's Why? name. Why? Give me a good reason. You know this. Yeah. You know this is me. And I know this is you. So it's not fucking around. Why do you want it? And what's in it for me? I go and remove the curse to have no more misfortune. And of course, I'll go and do things that go to your favor. And you'll do this. Uh, so you're, you're, you're offering me to remove a hex that I may or may not believe in, that you may or may not have done, that may or may not have an influence on my life. Uh, in order for me I to get it, my friend. I do have an influence because you went to jail not long ago and you had a bad uh, a legal issue not uh, long hey, ago. Hey, are you okay? Oh, hey, are you okay? Listen, you didn't, I didn't go to jail. No, no, no. You no. listen. No, you listen. You're wrong. No, you listen. So your curse doesn't work. work. You oh. are being hurt. I have your hair. Okay. It's very easy to pass as a vagrant in that shitful place. Uh, Very easy to rummage through garbage bins. So you rummaged through my garbage and got my hair? Yeah. (laughs) I got your hairs. You went to San Diego and and grabbed my pubic hairs out of the trash can? (laughs) I use big, thick gloves. (laughs) So, (laughs) is that how you grab those big black cocks you keep sending me? Well, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. That's my neighbor. <laughs> that's your neighbor's big cock. I didn't think it was yours, but okay. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, let's, let's carry this conversation on. You caught me at kind of a bad time. I'm. Uh, you, your hex has kind of put me in a really bad place. I'm actually sitting here at a bar with a very attractive woman. So I need to go back inside. Okay. Yeah. 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 Attractive woman that you appear to not have an interest with in because you have an obsession. I do have an obsession. You called me, my sir. Your friend, you called me. I'm going to go back inside. And uh, if you want to call me in about 30, 45 minutes, if I don't answer, it's because I got lucky. If I do answer, it's because I have nothing left to do but to talk to you. All right? All right, bye. All right. What's up, dude? Ah, I guess you weren't as fortunate as you thought. Uh, well, it's one of those things, you know, where uh, I could have pushed it, but uh, I have to work in the morning, so it was like it wasn't a for sure thing. So I didn't really want to lose sleep over not a for sure thing. So, in other words, mm. yes, sometimes you can't win them all. Sometimes you have to pick the ones that you know. <laughs> Uh, so, sure. what can I do for you? You want to know my friend's name, huh? Yes. You are for negotiation. You fancy yourself as a person of business. So, let's negotiate. First off, let me ask you why. Because I need to know why you want to know his name. I need to know. Um, what did he do exactly to um, uh, provoke all of this? Is it the lady? Yeah. Is it a lady thing? The lady friend that he took from you? No. No. Because I'm curious. Because I have to know. my birthday. Okay. First off, it was my birthday. He created a sense of sacrilege. Because he was it of someone's birthday considered the most important thing when it comes to, at the very least, lesbian Satanism. Yes, it does. So, he disrespected me on my birthday. So, that's a personal matter. Not only that, he goes and does all sorts of other shit. Completely harasses me. Violates every single portion of the site's policy. Of course, he gets moderator status. 
And then I get fed up. More ways than one. And then I try messaging you in the past from my old number. And I got nothing. So that's when I got the impression that you aren't Kahoot. And that's when I started on a path of vengeance. See, I know more or less the reason as to why you went to your particular brand of Satanism. My reasons are two. It's love and vengeance. Now, it's important to have a balance, correct? Right? You would hope so, yes. So, what happens when you take away one? Are you asking me or are you telling me? I'm asking you. What, you know, what, what happens, happens when you take, take away, away one? The other side counter or overbalances, overcompensates for the lack of the other. Yes. Exactly. So, those two reasons are the main reasons as to why I went into Satanism. And of course, numerous times are, but I won't say power, I would say more of my benefactors, the old saucy goddesses, the four crown princes, they provide for those who are the most devoted, most respectful. Now, recently, Okay, sure, granted, I could take up the whole fake stuff being posted about extortion or that I go and do hexes and curses. Hell, I even take the part about being outed the statement. Well, uh, being outed uh, as a Satanist uh, isn't that big of a deal. Basically, what, I, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to determine you're, you're telling me. The political I want to. I want to. I I be beyond beyond Satanism. I, let's try to stay on the subject here. I want to talk but about why you just like this guy. Something occurred recently, which has gone rather out of hand, especially with death threats. So I want to know his name. You want to know his name for so you can. Uh, get revenge on him somehow, huh? I mean, do you think by posting his name on a ripoff report that's gonna anybody's gonna give two shits? Everybody knows that site's full of shit. Well, I have better things. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, I hope that I hope that you have something other than ripoff report because nobody takes that seriously. But speaking of that, I got a question for you. When did my ex girlfriend give you that email? Oh, and by the way, I never went to jail, dude. I've been in jail for over 10 years. And I, even then, it was like for two days. And also, my legal troubles are not really troubles of not being prosecuted for anything. It was a hearing, and it's, it doesn't really mean anything. I'm actually, I'm the one suing her. Uh, so, yeah, before you start, you can rattle off on ripoff report that I'm in legal troubles. You can take responsibility for it. Truth is, I'm not in any legal trouble. Yeah, I mean, you're not answering my question. Okay. Well, yeah, this is not a negotiation. You're not going to be honest the with me. Why am I going to be honest with you? Is the deal. The deal is there is the no cursing, deal. hexing, and stuff. Yeah, comes to an end. There is no cursing, it's hexing, and it's not been it's not been very effective yet. So, well, I'm just left the bar with a very beautiful woman. I'm going to see again very soon, and I'm drinking. Uh, oh, he's lost. Oh, he's pursued. You chose to communicate with me when you chose not to. No, I didn't choose to communicate with you. You called me. Remember that? No, well, you chose to continue communicating with me when you called me back. Because very easily just not called I could have, but you know what? I but have nothing you better to do right now. I have to give uh, you 10 minutes of my time to I figure out what the fuck you want. A bunch of things that you could be doing. Uh, Are you, is yeah. your life really in such a bad shambles that you're trying to... <laughs> really? So, so you turning your call is, is what you're going to assume is my life has uh, no value. 
that I have nothing better to do. No, I can sit aside ten minutes. I can prioritize my time. I'm the one who's pulling your screen. <laughs> wow. I thought AK was joking when he said that uh, you were mentally ill. That's interesting. You really you really take credit? You really take credit for me calling you back? I called you back because I have nothing better to do. Um, I just walked in, and I'm about to let you go. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of this, uh, but I'm only willing to spend so much time talking to you. Especially if I'm not going to be honest. You got nothing to offer me, so why am I going to offer you anything? I gave you. No, you, your fucking bullshit hexes isn't, doesn't concern me. You can hex me all you want. It doesn't matter to me. People have been hexing me forever, and I just grow stronger. So Did you enjoy I grow stronger, and I go more productive, and I go more successful. So continue. Continue, please. It must be, you must be doing something right, because I just keep getting better and better. So we improve. I am. But you aren't getting better. In fact, your site's been rather barren, except for the same small number of people. <laughs> That's what's about that profile over and over again. Fake bullshit profiles. Mm. Uh, well, but, you know, the, the social networking yeah. site isn't just me, my friend. Okay? I created this site. That's a project of mine. I am myself. You operated. You operated. So what? I am more than that site. Okay? I am more than my YouTube. Now, I am more than a lot of things. I am more than the guy that was on Comedy Central. I am more than the guy that's been on documentaries. I am more than the guy that's been on radio shows. I am more than all that. I am me. Those are extensions of me. So what? You can't be successful at everything, although sin is still the most active and most widely used satanic form. So, I still... I still Pardon me. Really? I see name more one. uses in the 600 Club. Uh, no, you don't. Or on then that... No, you don't. I'm friends with Zier. We share Google it's Analytics. My site, my site has triple the, the traffic and activity that his does. I'm friends with him. His name is Zier. Hardly. Hardly? The only reason why is because... Additional profiles are created. Really? Emails. Really? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People like have nothing better to do than to create fake emails. emails. That's you, man. Emails. You got nothing better to do than waste your time creating fake fucking ripoff reports and shit. That's fine, dude. I, yeah, I, I wish you, I wish you, you know what? If you were a competent magician and Satanist, if you were a competent magician and Satanist, you would not waste yeah. your time slandering yeah. others on ripoff report. You would put your energy into doing something that people would respect. But nobody respects you because you don't do anything. Have a good night, sir. Continue in your in your nothingness. You won't make it past this year. Yeah, yeah. You sound like a fucking Mexican fucking vampire. I'm going to get you, Zach. I'm going to get you. You got you, see. I want your friend's name. You're a fucking idiot, dude.